Does Planet Hollywood deserve more love? Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies. We're back at Disney Springs because we're gonna eat at a restaurant that we've never eaten at before. Well, technically, I have eaten there once. I, I have was... eaten there too. Oh, really? Oh, so we have eaten there before. We in never Times had this Square. conversation. Oh, okay. So... I meant this one. Oh, you went to this one? I went, to... I think I did. So when I was in, when I was 10 years old, my dad took me to Walt Disney World and I had to go to Planet Hollywood because I was a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. And at that time, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a part owner of Planet Hollywood. They had some like Terminator 2 mem memorabilia in there. And for those that don't know, this is a restaurant that sports a lot of memorabilia from movies all throughout Hollywood. It was started by a bunch of movie stars, including Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, so I, when I was a kid, I really wanted you, to go. You know, I, I had no idea you had all this knowledge <laughs> about Planet Hollywood. I just know I went once when I was like 16 and I thought it was cool. Yeah. I know there'll probably be a lot of copywritten music playing in yeah. this restaurant, so if you see quick clips, that's probably why. Yeah. I know it's like four stories tall too, and there's wow. like a 4,500 uh, square foot like video screen playing yeah. music videos and different things. This is one of like uh, Downtown Disney or Disney Springs, I feel like original type of like draw you in restaurants, but in more recent time, it doesn't have that great of reviews. Um, compared to the other offerings here, it's definitely not something that we've ever felt particularly like we had to go to, uh, but obviously everyone knows about it. And it's themed actually like an observatory. So in the Disney Springs kind of lore, the Planet Hollywood building is an observatory for the stars, which makes sense because it's filled with Hollywood star memorabilia. Uh, it's supposed to be like you're kind of entering Hollywood world when you go up there. You actually have to go up an escalator, I believe, to reach the main dining hall. So there is kind of like an experience factor there, but it is a novelty restaurant, you know? It is, and it's a chain. Yeah. And Guy Fieri apparently uh, has some sandwiches here. I guess the chicken guy was not enough for him. He wanted to uh, yeah, well, get they, in on uh, Planet Hollywood's menu. They actually used to have a gift shop that was taken over by Chicken Guy. So Chicken Guy took over a bit of their gift shop and then I guess Guy Fieri and his Guy Fieri goodness offered them a few of his Flavor Town recipes for the menu. So we'll be trying out some of their new food. We haven't heard that great of things, but I hear the burgers are pretty good. Uh, so I'm excited to see the decor and try the food out. I'm going in with, you know, not that high expectations. I'm kind of excited. So I, I haven't been there in a long time and it was a big thing for me when I went when I was a kid. So I'm excited to go as an adult without the <laughs> rose colored glasses of childhood. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at Planet Hollywood here at Disney Springs. If you're heading to Planet Hollywood, the closest garage if you're parking here is going to be the Orange Garage. You will need to head to Town Center. It's going to be right across from the Coca-Cola store. It's probably the easiest or the easiest sit down restaurant to get to right out of Orange Garage, right? And it's next to Chicken Guy. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, check in. All right, we are heading in. You already hear the Smashing Pumpkins playing. So right to our left when we walk in, this is one of the things I was talking about. It's one of the figures of Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2. It even has the glowing red Terminator eye. Really cool. I love the memorabilia in here. I guess you come more so for the atmosphere, not the food. They even have a photo op right next to Arnold. All their merch is kind of to the right as you walk in. I was wrong, by the way, no escalator. It's just steps up here. We can actually see the Superman suit that Christopher Reeves wore. They have a giant Woody with Andy written on his boot. No sitting or standing, we gotta keep moving, I guess. And right there is a rocket uniform. Oh, they actually have a whole other store up here to the right. I wasn't aware of this. Turbo Man, oh, only booster. We're heading in and it's definitely a lot smaller than I had anticipated. All right, Sam, so we're seated. We're on the first level. There's actually two levels in here. And they actually have this giant like projected wall. Looks like it plays like some music or it doesn't play the music, it projects the music videos. All right, let's take a look at the menu. Oh. 
crazy shakes. Gotta get a crazy shake. So as far as the appetizers go, they do have their world famous chicken crunch. And I want to bring up that it looks like they have a Ferris wheel type of appetizer. They have this, it's called the high roller sampler. They actually have this same type of uh, contraption over at Hershey Park at the Chocolatier. Novelty restaurants like this always have these giant menus. All right, these are the salads they look like. They have a Hollywood bowl salad. It's gonna be hard for me to go through everything. They also have pastas. Oh, look at the sides, they're pretty interesting. They have grilled specialties, steak, salmon. Those ribs actually look pretty good in the picture. And then of course, there he is, the man himself, Guy Fieri and his famous burgers and sandwiches. They have guy-isms here. Um, they also have the donkey sauce, which you can find over at Chicken Guy, SMC, which I think it was at Chicken Guy, and the L-Top. These are their signature sandwiches, but I'm actually more so looking at their Big Bite Burgers. They're actually playing the YMCA song, and it looks like an old 70s television projected on the dome here at Planet Hollywood. It's pretty fun. As far as dessert goes, it does look like they are known for their shakes. They do look pretty crazy. Maybe we'll have to get one. We're waiting for our appetizers, but I did want to say that I appreciate that they gave us these warm and moist Talouettes. All right, so we got the appetizers. I got the tostadas, and Sam, you got their world famous chicken crunch. It even comes in a little wired chicken. It is crunchy grilled chicken strips, reminiscent of, I feel like, chicken guy, I feel like, and they have like a Creole sauce, right? Yes. I like the presentation. Do you feel the crunch? This is a good crunch. I think it might be better than Chicken Guy. Yeah, the Chicken Guy's chicken tenders that we've had in recent memory haven't been that great. Let's see the center of that. Let's see how that white meat looks. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. juicy. It tastes chewy. It is like a really, really nice crunch. And there's like a sweetness in the crunch. And I really like the Creole sauce. Pretty good. I'm going to seven. Seven's pretty solid. They look pretty crunchy and delicious. There's a sweetness to them that just like makes them a little unique. All right, so this is their Texas Tostados. Crispy gyoza skins topped with barbecue chicken, sauteed onions, a blend of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheeses, and drizzled with sour cream and barbecue sauce, served with pico de gallo. It looks very good, right? I'm gonna try it without the pico de gallo first. So they're gyoza skins, but there's nothing in the inside. It looks like the toppings are on the outside and they're fried, right? Yeah, so it's got this good, skinny, meaty exterior. This, the barbecue sauce, whatever sauce on it, it's very sweet, with a creamy sauce on top. I like it. Crispy, savory, sweet, cheesy. All flavors you want together. I don't know, like, eight with that. I really like that, it's pretty good. All right, so dinner is served. I got the primetime American Kobe burger. It's American style Kobe beef, smoked Gouda, cheddar, pickles, caramelized onion jam, crispy, onion straws, donkey sauce, and a brioche bun. Donkey sauce, I think, was my favorite sauce when we ate a chicken guy. I do have an issue, though. We got our appetite, like our food, like right after we got our appetizer, so. And there's no room on our table yeah. for the food. Uh, I'm sitting next to appetizer food. This is fine. Um, but the burger does look promising, and I've heard very positive things about the burgers. The fries themselves, it looks like they look like a player card, and then also, that little skull right on there. So, all right, let's try this burger out. It does look juicy and delicious. I got it medium, where you can ask for them to cook it specific cook style. That might be one of my favorite burgers in Disney. Perfectly medium rare. Sharp cheddar flavor, creamy Gouda, little bite with the onion. Look at it. And then a very good quality Kobe beef. That's a nine of a burger. That's a really good burger. I think it might deserve more love here. I think you come back for another burger here. That's really, that's one of the best burgers I had in Disney. This is really good. I still need to try the, the Steakhouse burger, or the Stacker burger, over at Steakhouse 71. But this is, this is pretty good. All right, this is Sam's dinner. It's on a pretzel bun. What is this, Sam? So this is a turkey picnic. It's house roasted turkey breast, cranberry relish, Swiss, barbecue kettle chips, 
um, donkey sauce and it's on a pretzel bun. Wow, look at that, it's it's stacked. It also got the donkey sauce on this one as well. All right, let's see how it is. I don't know how I'm gonna bite it. It's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna be able to get all the layers in one bite. All right, we'll try a few bites then. I actually really like it. The turkey is really good. It's like made in house. Everything tastes fresh. And the barbecue kettle chips that are on the bottom are really good. It gives it a nice crunch. It kind of breaks up having all these layers, having that crunch. It's kind of like one of those Thanksgiving sandwiches with the turkey and the cranberry, but like added really good chips and on a pretzel bun. It's actually really solid. The fries are trash. Taylor Swift is on. This is an eight. You're giving it an eight? Yeah. Ah, wow, sounds very good. I gotta get a bite of that myself. We were taking a look at some of their desserts. So they have the white chocolate bread pudding. Bread pudding being the flavor of Disney. They also have a butter cake, which is this is actually what we went with because it reminded us about the great butter cake we had over at Lazy Dog. They have a chocolate layer cake that looks very moist in the picture. New York cheesecake and a salted caramel cheesecake. So on the back of the drink menu, you can find their crazy shakes. They have the ch standard chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla. And they do have these supernova shakes. This is an observatory, so they have a strawberry, uh, Big Bang Shake, a Cosmic Cotton Candy, and a Chocolate Comet. These look very good, just a little too much for us right now. We just ate a lot. All right, we're starting off our dessert with the butter cake. This is a gooey butter cake with vanilla ice cream, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberry sauce. It's already very melty in a skillet, right, Sam? It's kind of like what we had at Lazy Dog, but looks smaller. Yes, yeah, smaller. Not what our other dessert is. Our other dessert definitely isn't small. <laughs> I keep thinking things aren't going to be good, and then they are really good. We came in with pretty low expectations, although I do have those rose-colored child glasses on right now. It is super buttery and gooey, and it's nice and warm. Nice contrast with the ice cream. It does taste very similar to the one that we did have at Lazy Doll. Similar vibe. I got some fresh fruit. I'm gonna give it an eight. It, it looks like an eight. It looks really good. I can't wait to try my giant dessert out. All right, so they gave us this on the house. I was looking at these giant shakes and they, they offered this to us. We really appreciate it. Um, and this is the strawberry big bang shake. Start with a classic hand-dipped strawberry milkshake, add sprinkles, and top it off with a slice of birthday cake. It's the latest thing in party food from a frozen planet. All right, um, I'm gonna have to... I need to deconstruct this, I feel like, a bit. Um, also comes with a lollipop. Just what we need. I think we'll bring this home. We eat the lollipop now. Let me just try the shake first. I think it was two straws, too, which is nice. There are chunks of full strawberry in this. Very thick. And full, it's like a vanilla cake with strawberries inside of it. Let's take the cake portion off. I feel like I just eat this. I don't know. You just ate a piece of cake with your hands? Aesthetically, it's a very nice shake. Look at the stars on it. It's not a lot, too. It looks like it's more than what it is, I feel like. It's light, it's airy, it's tasty. I probably think the butter cake is a higher quality. It's light? Oh, it's not light. <laughs> the cake has like a light, airy texture. I was gonna say. Yeah, cake is a light, airy texture. I would give this a, a seven. I think it's a good, cra it's a crazy shake, you know? Ice cream's not like the highest quality. I've had better milkshakes at Hershey Park, so I'm hard pleased because I've had those fresh milk milkshakes. But it's good. And I, I think it's like if you're a kid, I think this is probably the crazy shake I would go with. Fresh, full strawberries, nice creamy ice cream, light, airy birthday cake. It's good. Before we head out, I wanted to highlight some of the memorabilia. They do have a open bar here. You can dine at the bar. It looks pretty empty right now. And right next to the bar are the steps, which will take you up to the second level. Some props from Ben Hur as you walk up the steps. We have a Spider Man Bonds. Lunch box. Oh, there's a lot up here, and it's, there's a much better view of the projected screen. Wilson Fist's suit from Daredevil. Kingpin is making a comeback right now on the Echo series on Disney Plus. They have one of the dresses from Bridget Jones' Diary. They have one of the Santa suits from Jingle All the Way back here. I'm noticing a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger memorabilia. Some Brady Bunch memorabilia, and that's from the Grinch that stole Christmas. 
that suit right there. There's another bar up here on the second level as well. A bit more uh, dark tones. Feels a bit more classic Hollywood up here. They have one of Wolverine's claws from X-Men Origins. Not a great movie, pretty cool prop. Definitely a better view of the projected screen from up here, although I think the effect works better from the floor view. Mad Men is actually one of my favorite shows of all time, and they have one of Betty Draper's dresses. Don Draper is the main character. Betty Draper being his wife and one of the main characters. It's one of her dresses right there on the wall. I didn't even realize there's another level here. I thought we were about to leave. Now let's see what's on the final level. Looks like someone's celebrating a birthday. They'll put it right on the screen up there. This is the top level. I don't have anyone up here right now. Some Dumb and Dumber props. Incandescent lighting. Ooh, a, Ju it's a Jumanji prop. Very cool. They have some shots of celebrities up here. You can see Jason Statham, Muhammad Ali, and they also have Sylvester Stallone in the back corner. And this kind of resembles the top of the observatory, and it's projected onto the ceiling. Flash Gordon, which is the epic which inspired Star Wars, and the boxers that Tom Holland wore in Spider-Man Homecoming. I feel like this is a pretty strange prop. I like it. So these are the different levels where you can see. We ate on Terra, Lunar was the second, and Galaxy is where we are right now. All right, it is time to head out. I enjoyed that a lot more than I anticipated. So does Planet Hollywood deserve more love? I'm going to say yes. I did not anticipate having that great of a meal, right? I'm very surprised. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, you had a bite of my burger. How good was that burger? It was so tender. That yeah. really is one of the best burgers we've had in Disney, which yeah. I would never think it would come from. Guy Fieri like a... brought the heat on that menu, you know? <laughs> He should like work on his own menu because <laughs> my sandwich was really good and the yeah. chicken strips better than chicken guy. Yes, the, yeah, the chicken crunch was better than chicken guy. Very good, world famous, it's questionable. I have never heard of the chicken crunch prior to Planet Hollywood, but very good. I, I, also, I enjoyed the setting. Um, I, I really enjoyed the aesthetic and being able to see all of the different memorabilia adorned on the walls. The carpet actually changed with each level, each of the level levels had like a different theme to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, also that particular Planet Hollywood, the biggest Planet Hollywood out of all the Planet Hollywoods, they also do rotate the memor memorabilia between the restaurants. So you could go a few times and get a different experience each time. Yeah, and they play fun music. I mean, it's super gimmicky. It's yeah. loud. Um, the kids look like they were having a great time. Yeah. It looked like a great place to celebrate. I personally didn't like where we were sitting. Yes. Our table was very small and the tables next to us were like super close. Yeah. But then we went upstairs and I'm like, wow, there's like some really nice tables on the yeah. upper level that like overlook everything and our nice booths and stuff. They weren't so seating them on the top level, unfortunately. I guess it's a lot for the servers to go up and down. Uh, but yeah, it was a, a, you know, a great experience for us. The big question is, is this a place that you would go to on your one Disney vacation? considering it's a chain restaurant. And I think the fact that it's a chain restaurant is the weakest point for the restaurant itself because I still do think that Boathouse is yeah, a place you go to, you know, over here, um, Wine Bar George, Homecoming, Wolfgang Puck. But I do think if I ended up here on my vacation or if I couldn't get a reservation elsewhere, I would be happy with it. I still know? think it's a good time, and I think yeah. kids would definitely love it. As a child, I loved it. It's one of my, my I think favorite memories. I, I think still do. You still love it. Especially seeing all the Arnold Schwarzenegger merchandise, all the movie memorabilia. <laughs> yeah, I heard two Taylor Swift songs. Like, <laughs> it was a pretty good time. The big projected dome was cool. Also, the fact that it looked like the um, kind of the telescope moved through the center of the mm -hmm. restaurant. It had a nice theme to it. It was well done. Staff was great. Uh, the um, server we had was very nice. The waiter was good. One issue that we had with the meal was that we got the dinner too quick to the apps, but they definitely made up for it. Uh, so yeah, and also, the, I mean, the shake was pretty solid too. Yeah, it was good. Butter cake was the winner though for the dessert. I think I love butter cake. I really had, this is only the <laughs> second time I'm having it, but yeah. I've, I've learned that I really like it. We're butter cake fans. More butter cake. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notifications. That way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. But make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. On another note, late January is a pretty good time to visit Disney World.
Yes, after the Run Disney race is over and after um, Martin Luther King Day weekend, yeah. like this weekend that it is now, after that, well, those events, yeah. it's great. Yeah, it's uh, been very light crowds. Uh, the weather has actually been very nice. We haven't experienced any rain despite El Finally. Nino. El Nino increases the rain during the winter months here in Florida, just so you guys know for your trip. Uh, but we haven't experienced too much rain this week, and it's like 75 degrees out tonight. It's a beautiful, low humidity, perfect Floridian night.